Let the dynasty debate begin, but one thing's for certain, the San Antonio Spurs are the 2007 NBA champions. Hi and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Amber Wilson. There was nothing spur of the moment about San Antonio's fourth title in nine years. They broke out the brooms Thursday night against the Cleveland Cavaliers and left very few moments of doubt throughout the entire series. Last night did provide some excitement for Cleveland fans with an 11-0 opening second half Cavalier run and a close final score, but San Antonio was too complete and just too darn good. The 83-82 win by the Spurs featured 24 points by Tony Barker and a bounce back performance by Manny Ginobili. After scoring just three points last game, Ginobili notched 27 this one, including 13 in the fourth quarter alone. LeBron James led the Cavs with a double-double, but his 10 of 30 performance from the field contributed to the team's low shooting percentage of just over 38%. The 22-year-old took his team to New Heights in 2007, but Cleveland could only watch as San Antonio methodically took apart the Cavs. Tim Duncan, MVP of the Spurs' first three finals, scored 12 points and had 15 rebounds. Could have been better um, in order for us to win. You know, um, you know if I don't play well, our, our team is not going to have a good chance to win. And, um, you know, I got a lot of things to work on to get better for next year. I feel blessed already to have three, so we'll see. We'll see. But I promise you, we'll work hard and try to get some more because it never gets sold to win. You know, it feels good. Throughout the series, Duncan continued to be a factor in the paint, but it was 25-year-old Tony Parker that brought home the hardware, becoming the first European-born player to be honored as Finals MVP. The Frenchman averaged over 24 points per game with 57% shooting. He accounted for 28.3% of his team's total output this series. Let's take it to the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland as Tony Mejia looks back on the series. The San Antonio Spurs are champions for the fourth time in nine seasons. They beat the Cleveland Cavaliers the way they were supposed to and did it without leaving any room for error. They took advantage of every Cleveland mistake, including turnovers down the stretch that ended up being critical by a LeBron James that clearly wasn't himself and clearly did not have legs after uh, 24 hours that Jack Bauer would be proud of because uh, he went through the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride of, of having his, his son born healthy, and that's really significant, uh, and then having to deal with the, all the pressure of a city that, that put its entire team on his shoulders. Uh, and he was o only able to carry them so far. Tony Parker essentially outplays him the entire series, matches him in game four by taking 18 less shots. He scored 24 points. He's very deserving of the MVP, and you know where you read that first on CBS Sportsline. For CBS Sportsline, I'm Tony Mejia. The favorite pulled through in the NBA Finals, but after day one at the U.S. Open, and none of golf's biggest names are at the top of the leaderboard. Oakmont proved to be as difficult as advertised, with only two golfers under par and no one truly separating from the pack. Englishman Nick Dordery is a clubhouse leader, shooting two under 68 with a strong performance on the back nine that featured three birdies. Tiger Woods, Vijay Singh, and 2006 U.S. Open champion Jeff Ogilvie are all tied at fifth at one over par. Ernie Els won the U.S. Open last time it was played at Oakmont in 1994, and he has five strokes off the lead. Last year's runner-up Phil Mickelson battled through a wrist injury to finish with a four over par 74. And that'll do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. Keep your mouse clicking right here on CBSSportsLine.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. If you missed anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch me, Amber Wilson. Have a great day.